My name is Jeremy Bending. Throughout my life as a hospital doctor and consultant physician, I continue to write fiction and short stories, some of which were brought together in my book A Listening Doctor, a narrative memoir of my life in medicine and published in 2018. My latest book is called If You Don't Know, subtitled An Act of Love Betrayed. It's a thriller, much of which takes place in Hungary. If you don't know, I don't know. Things not discussed can never be recorded and therefore have never taken place. Those were the last words Michael Butler said to his younger son Jeff on a Sunday evening in August before Jeff left on holiday. Jeff could not have imagined that events would unravel so fast from there, starting with the suicide of his father by hanging in their garage later that night and leading to a surprising trip to Hungary where his father had been working for an international organisation and had become involved in investigating the trafficking of Roman girls into the sex trade. As far as Jeff was concerned, the act of suicide causes such indescribable pain for those left behind that for anyone to even contemplate the act was inexcusable, an act of love betrayed. But was his father really responsible for taking his own life? I have spent many years visiting and living for periods in Hungary. I am very aware of the present political and social issues in this country, not least the rise of right-wing nationalism, sadly occurring in many nations of the world at present, and the discrimination against minorities, including Roman people who are the centre of this story. My main characters have not been inspired by anyone I know, living or dead, but arose out of the, my need to tell the story with characters who would, be believable, who would be believable and engage the reader. My love of literature was inspired by my English teacher at the grammar school I attended in my teens. Since then I've left since then I've had a lifelong passion for writing, which has only become possible to express professionally since I, reti I retired from the very rewarding but all-consuming all job as a full-time doctor. I now have a new career as a writer, one I find equally but differently rewarding, and have written four novels and two memoirs, not to forget a historical book of poetry. Once I start to write a book, the enjoyment is immense, but it is very hard work to begin, develop and bring the story to completion. And once finished, hours of contemplation, revision and editing are still required. But you do get to a point in writing a story where the process c carries you along. Seeing your book as, com as a completed work is enormously satisfying. I continue to write not for fame or fortune, but the further satisfaction it gives me. I'm still learning as I go. Just sit down and write behind a closed door until it is finished. Reading other books all the time is very important in, in developing your thoughts and ideas. I have read poetry and literature throughout my life, although when I first started out I thought that this constantly repeated mantra that writers should read all the time was perhaps rather a smug idea which came from those that had been lucky enough to be published authors. It is not easy at all to break through, but be determined and don't give up. It is available from the 23rd of May 2023 from all high street bookshops, including Waterstones and online booksellers like Amazon. Mm -hmm.